responding to your assumptions about me. I'm Chris. This is Yellow Productions. And who do I have here? I have MacGyver the Bunny. He wanted to join the live stream today. It's been a while, probably since you all have seen MacGyver on the live stream. And so he wanted to come and see what this live stream thing's all about because he's heard everybody is getting into the live streaming right now since they can't get out and be all that social. So... There he is. If you want to follow him on Instagram, he has his own Instagram page. It's called MacGyver the Bunny. And maybe OC Girl will drop that into the chat in case you all do. And here, I'm just going to put him back in his little place right here so he doesn't run around and chew up any cables. All right. So for all of you that are at home, social distancing, in quarantine, safe at home, whatever we call it around the world, I want to spend some time today in front of the fireplace uh, chatting with you all about the assumptions that you have about me. Uh, and as somebody pointed out in the live chat, yes, this is a topic I've done before, but it was requested in one of last week's Q&A sessions, somebody said, hey, Chris, it was so much fun when you did this before. Maybe you can do another assumptions for 2020. And so that is what we're doing today. And if you're on the live stream, if you have questions about the assumptions, I would love to hear them uh, and uh, you know, ask questions, say what you think about that. Uh, and uh, both Kathy and Adam say uh, that uh, the bunny is cute. By the way, uh, I've got an upgrade for this live stream where I've kind of adjusted the comments so that now pictures are bigger and that the text is bigger. So let me know if you like this new comment block down here. And as always, I will take questions during, and if we've got time, I will take them at the end as well. All right, so the assumptions that I'm responding to, they were on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I made a post and said, hey, what assumptions do you have about me? And uh, I'll respond to them. So that's what I got. And by the way, uh, MacGyver the Bunny, if you want to check him out on Instagram, that's it. And that's how you spell it. You can see all of his uh, pictures on Instagram. All right, so the first assumption, and by the way, I'm starting with the assumptions on my YouTube channel, then we'll go to the Facebook assumptions, then we'll go to the Instagram assumptions. And if you haven't found the posts on my community page, this is something maybe not a lot of people know about, but I post pictures and updates of live streams and things like that there. If you go to the Yellow Productions channel and then you click the tab that says community, that's where you'll always see updates about the next live stream or maybe pictures about where we are. All right, so the first assumption that I'll be responding to is from Fallout Fan 66. Fallout Fan 66 says, uh, when I first started watching your videos last year, I assumed you were a Vegas local because you had so many great tips when I went last year. So the assumption is that I'm a Vegas local. I am definitely not a Vegas local. I am born and raised in San Diego in Southern California. Uh, so I am a native of San Diego, and uh, I do a lot of videos on Vegas because I know a lot of you love Vegas. So, uh, And my Vegas videos are some of the most popular, so that's why I definitely keep doing the Vegas videos. Um, and uh, Shay asks, Chris, which software do you use for the live stream? The software I use is called uh, vMix. And uh, the vMix software, uh, if you want to know more about it, well, I've got a whole video about um, what I do for that. You can find it in the description below. And uh, that video all talks about like my live stream setup. Uh, Eric says, not an assumption, but what makes you decide on the headset versus other mics? Uh, so when our little explorer is awake and maybe uh, crying or making noise, you might be able to hear a little bit of her in the background. But this headset was specifically designed for um, noisy environments like sports casters use it. And so I thought I would see how this does, maybe canceling out some of that background noise. Um, and uh, MP says the larger comment box takes up 30% of the screen. Well, I figured it would help you read it because some people have said it's small or they want to see people's pictures. I don't know. I might make that a little smaller again too, but just giving some different things out on a try. All right. Um, okay. Let's go to the next assumption, the second assumption from Gloria. Gloria says, 
I assumed that you were sponsored by the city of Las Vegas because your knowledge of the city is impressive. And you know what? I've, uh, I'm not sponsored by the city of Las Vegas. Actually, most of my videos are not sponsored. You know, I think that's something about YouTube where people often say things like, oh, don't trust these guys' reviews because, you know, in this Cheap Eats video, I guarantee all of the restaurants uh, paid for him to be there. And I never take payments to make me go someplace in any of my top tens or best eats. Those are never sponsored. Uh, there's a few videos where people might invite us someplace and say, hey, you can eat the food for free if you're doing this video. And in that case, we might do some of those things. But um, we will never take any money from anybody to say something that we wouldn't say just by default. Uh, so the num if and if there are videos that are sponsored, you will clearly know in the video because I will say something like they provided this for free or they invited us here. So I am definitely not trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes uh, because I think honesty is important. And uh, I personally don't like listening to travel content that I know is only existing because somebody paid for that to be there um, and uh, Eric says cool about the mic thank you Eric um, Diana thinks the comment box is just fine all right Diana uh, thank you uh, and uh, a Steven thinks it's too big so I think it's it's mixed Jason says uh, don't make it smaller it's good we'll do it as we go and I think in this video too because I've got you know, I'm not always going to have that thing there, right, that I'm responding to these comments. So this one, it does take up a lot of the screen. Uh, but I think it's cool to see, like, big pictures of the people. Like, look at Jason right there. Hey, cool picture, Jason. All right. Next assumption. Uh, LJ9 says, I assume you go to In-N-Out Burger twice a week. Obviously, people know that I love In-N-Out Burger. And I probably go to In-N-Out Burger, well... Uh, definitely not during the safer at home or quarantine times uh, all that often, uh, but um, three times a week, maybe even four times a week on regular weeks that is not quarantine time. I love In-N-Out Burger, and if you had to ask me what my favorite food was or what my favorite restaurant is, it is definitely In-N-Out Burger. Zachary says, uh, uh, but seriously though, we all know you are sponsored by the color yellow. I sure, you're right. Yellow, the color yellow, I get weekly paychecks from the color yellow, the <clears throat> every yellow crayon that is sold, I get a little bit of money from. Uh, Keith says, I like the sound quality better with the headset. All right, Keith, thank you for that feedback. Um, and Kathy says uh, she likes the large comments. My eyes are bad and need uh, glass to watch. Nice to see uh, the big font. All right. Thanks, Kathy. And by the way, something I'm, I'm trying to do with this microphone is set the gain levels appropriately. So there's a certain level that's going to be good and another one that's going to be too loud because I don't want to max it out. So for the next few live streams, I'll probably still be figuring out this uh, microphone. <laughs> Uh, Kevin says, how many travel days out of the year are you away from family? Um, it's hard to say per year. OC Girl and I, we often travel together, but um, I would maybe say uh, 45 days, 60 days of the year. Maybe I'm on travel by myself. The other travels we do together. Uh, we'll figure out how that works with our little explorer. Uh, OC... Steve says the new format is good. I just need to see your face. It has a good Rose Parade broadcast feel or Zordon. All right. Thank you, OC Steve. And Naj likes the sound better too. All right. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate your feedback. And I, so I love to see the pictures. I love to see uh, that Star Wars logo right there. All right. LJ9 assumes that I have been to every U.S. state. I have definitely not been to every U.S. state maybe half the states. I've driven cross country from California to the East Coast, and then I've come back. Uh, so that uh, is what took me to a lot of the states. I did the um, like the 40 over to the East Coast, and then I did the 70 on the way back. Uh, so there's a lot of states that we haven't been to, you know, Wisconsin, Wyoming, a lot of the really small states. Uh, and Gloria says she heard the baby in the back. Yes, she is uh, nearby. 
Uh, and here we have uh, we have the fireplace, right? And it's crackling back there, but I might not have that uh, the audio up loud enough that you can hear that. That's definitely down there. Uh, and uh, Sistress asks and says, "Is that the traveling princess in the background?" That sure is. Uh, does she want to say hi, traveling princess? Would you like to say hi? You know, so we uh, some people asked and said. Hey, Chris, can you do a video where you do some, like, things that dads need? And uh, maybe I'll do this later, but this is kind of what we've got our traveling princess hanging out on, this little pink pillow right here with a little blanket that we got from Japan. Uh, so there she is. And she wanted to say hi make sure she got her moment in the spotlight, too, with little little pink socks as well. All right. Here we go. Wah. Thank you. Traveling princess. Uh, Fiorella says she is so precious. Thank you, Fiorella. Zachary says, out of the places you've been, which was the most pleasantly surprising to you, meaning you liked it more than you were expecting to like it? I think uh, in that case, it would actually be Thailand. Uh, it was a long time coming, I think, for me to visit Thailand. OC Girl had been to Thailand before. Uh, I was convinced that it was going to be, you know, dirty and smelly and lawless and ruleless. We were going to get sick because it wasn't clean. Uh, but actually, I really love Thailand, so that's a place that I want to go back to, and I wasn't sure that I uh, would want to go back there. Uh, and uh, Gloria and Grant both say she's cute, so thank you very much. And Zachary says she's absolutely perfect. It is clear she adores you the way she looks at you. Oh, thank you, Zachary. Uh, Yoshi wants to know, how is Topher, uh, well, the panda playing Topher today? There's a few. There's one back there. I've sort of zoomed this in a little bit, so maybe you see less of them in the screen. Uh, but uh, the, the Tophers are good. The Tophers are good. And as usual on a live stream, I will be giving away one of the Yellow Productions crew t-shirts to a lucky question answer uh, later on in the live stream. Travis, Family Travels, says, The Traveling Princess is adorable. Our traveling community will never stop traveling and making videos. I agree. Uh, we're not going to let the current situation get the best of us. Maybe it's getting the best of us right now. But uh, Sam says, Those pandas won't stay there when she gets older. You know... We've, we've like had discussion about this, and obviously uh, I have an affinity towards stuffed pandas. OC Girl really loves stuffed animals, too. Uh, and so our traveling princess, she's going to have her own set of stuffed animals to make sure she doesn't, she doesn't drool all over, um, you know, our, our stars, right? Uh, Adam wants to know if I recommend Santa Cruz. I do. I think Santa Cruz is fun, and if you haven't seen it, I have a video all about Santa Cruz. And David asks, are the wildflowers out in SoCal? If you've not seen my uh, Instagram post, actually, I just posted about the poppies in California. Uh, but yes, the wildflowers are definitely out. Um, from our hike the other day, this was a, a picture of the poppies in California as they are right now, as best as that camera will focus on that phone so close so yes they are all right let's go to the next assumption eat van city says i assume your little explorer will affect the way you travel and when you travel i think she will uh already on our, our first trip that we took uh, and we didn't bring her with us her uh, grandma spent some quality time with her we went to fukushima it certainly affected us that we came back sooner uh, and we didn't stay as long as we did <clears throat> And when we travel with her, uh, that will that will definitely be different too. Uh, assumption from the live chat today. Megan uh, says, I am guessing you have never been to an all-inclusive resort. That's a good guess. Uh, we have indeed never been to an all-inclusive resort. Uh, however, we've been on, what, one cruise, which, which is like, almost like an all-inclusive resort what am i drinking today well in uh in quarantine times i'm just drinking water mm. water hydrating does a body good all right we'll put that there no oh, but i mean we should talk about this glass we'll have it up there i love this glass this is a it's a double wall glass i don't know if you can see but there's like a bottom and there's like another bottom inside it keeps the ice in the water cold forever and it doesn't um it doesn't sweat and if you like cold drinks like i do 
with lots of ice, then cups sweating can be a really big deal. All right. Let's go on to the next assumption. Eat Van City says, I assume you are less outgoing than OC Girl, though she is probably an introvert too. Yeah, we could probably have a debate about this, and OC Girl might debate this too. Uh, I think we are each more outgoing in different ways. I would describe OC Girl as more social with a regular friend group. I'm I'm really happy like hanging out in front of the computer and in front of a camera and in front of YouTube. Uh, I I consider myself a big introvert, but obviously many people who watch me on YouTube and even people who know me in real life because they see I, I do a lot of presentations and public speaking have a hard time believing that. But uh, I can I can give a presentation to a big audience and be really social, but then I have to like I have to just kind of like in that case, I actually have to quarantine myself for a while and just and just be by myself and, and kind of recharge. I think that's the that's the biggest definition of an introvert versus extrovert, right? Extroverts gain their energy being around people. Introverts need time to uh, relax themselves. I think we make a good combination between our uh, introversion uh, levels together. Brian says, "What do you like to order in a burger? Do you like animal?" style do you like animal style he didn't finish his sentence that didn't get cut off that was uh do you like animal style uh when i go to in and out burger i order a double double no onions extra everything which is extra lettuce extra tomato extra spread french fries and an iced tea to drink if i'm eating in the store i get a medium drink if i am going to the drive through which maybe during quarantine times i do then i get the extra large drink which is like a like a tanker because i can't go uh back in um, to get refills. Uh, MT says, I heard cold water with ice is an American thing, and most uh, countries don't like it cold, was the rest of his sentence. Um, I don't know if it's just an American thing. I mean, if you go to like Korean restaurants, they like ice water. Singapore likes cold drinks. There's a lot of countries that like cold drinks too, but cold, icy drinks like are definitely American. Uh, and it's actually something traveling as an American, uh, like I need my hotel to have either a refrigerator or an ice machine. Cause if I don't have cold drinks, I get kind of like, it doesn't like warm water doesn't, doesn't quench my thirst. Eric wants to know if at In-N-Out Burger, I like the animal style fries. By the way, if you don't know, animal style fries at In-N-Out Burger are French fries that come with Thousand Island dressing, melted cheese, grilled onions, and they're served with a fork. I don't like the animal style fries because uh, I don't really love onions all that much. It's, just, it's too heavy for me. Chris says, uh, hey, Chris, never stop making videos. You're awesome. Do you think Las Vegas will ever recoup its losses from the shutdown? I mean – they'll never recoup their losses. Do I think Vegas will continue to exist and people continue to go? Absolutely. Are some places going to go out of business or change or be different? I think so. Like, I think I even heard like Circus Circus was recently sold out of all this sort of thing. So uh, I think Vegas will be different. Uh, by the way, Pure Consciousness uh, responds to the introvert comment and said, I think you're very outgoing. No introvert will never make videos on YouTube. You know, the thing that works about this uh, is that I'm not I'm actually not looking at a lot of people. I'm looking at a I'm looking at a camera lens. So it's sort of interesting. I mean, knowing that there's 112 people, and there's 112 of you that are watching right now, but it's a bit different than 112 people right here. Um Fiorella wants to know if I've ever tried their hot cocoa at In-N-Out. I haven't, but you know, now uh, that we've got our uh, traveling princess, uh, when we go to In-N-Out, if it's a rainy day, they give kids hot cocoa. So we might just get some for our traveling princess and be able to uh, then drink that ourselves. Morton11 says, McDonald's pays many YouTubers. Did they try with you? No, they haven't. Uh, you know, since one of my earlier comments was about being sponsored I, I don't know it would have to be an interesting it would have to be an interesting proposition um i i would totally do a video talking about mcdonald's breakfast because i really like their uh oh what's it called the, the sausage egg and cheese mcgriddles it's the one that has like uh maple syrup embedded in the in the bun i think that one's pretty good um where'd my mouse go there's my mouse Kyler 
asks, what's my favorite place in Singapore? Um, in general, the Hawker Centers. I love to eat in Singapore, so the Hawker Centers are great. Singapore Zoo is awesome. Um, lots of things in Singapore are awesome. All right, let's go back to the previously submitted assumptions. Eat Van City sent in another assumption. Uh, Eat Van City asks or assumes, I assume you use two cameras when filming, a Sony and a Nikon. Uh, so for general YouTube when we're traveling, I travel with a Sony camcorder. Um, and I've got a whole video if you want to watch my everyday travel carry video that I shot uh two weeks ago, maybe, as a live stream. In the link in the description, there's a link to my playlist uh, of all my live streams. Check out the Everyday Care, everyday Travel Carry live stream, and I show the camcorder that I travel with. On trips that are really important, I will take two of them, but they're exactly the same camera. That way they work with exactly the same microphones. And OC Girl, she takes all the pictures. Uh, she uses a Fujifilm uh, camera for the pictures that she takes. We we do not use Nikons, or as it might be pronounced in Japanese, Nikon. Zachary asks if I think the Vegas buffets will still be a thing. I think they will, but they'll just be different. I don't think uh, they'll be self-serve. I think they will serve you. Chris asks if this is my day job. This is not my day job. Uh, I have computer science by background, so I work uh, in the software industry. Uh, and so I got a second channel called the Office Survival Guide, where I give a whole bunch of tips about working in the office. It's also made computer scientists are kind of office jobs. So if you want to know things about like how to write a resume, um, how to interview for a job, um, things not to say to your boss, uh, or one of my most popular ones, yes, there are stupid questions at work. Even though you may have heard there are no stupid questions at work, I am here to tell you there are, in fact, stupid questions at work. So if you want to check out that channel, just search for Office Survival Guide. Uh, Ted uh, wants to know uh, why didn't I answer his question. I don't know, Ted. Uh, ask it again. I don't see all questions, only because the kind of thing scrolls. So if you asked it and I skipped it, I did not mean to. I didn't, like, look at it and say I'm not answering that question. Um but uh, I just uh, I go through. I particularly look for things that have question marks at the end, so make sure your question always has a question mark. OC Steve has an assumption. He says, I assume you love the color yellow, but you draw the line when it comes to the Sinestro core, a.k.a. the yellow lanterns. Ooh, that's very bold. The yellow lanterns. Yeah, the lanterns are just scary in general. Um, Megan says, no in and out in Kentucky. Uh, thoughts on Five Guys and Shake Shack. Uh, right. So depending upon how you phrase that question, that, that could be fighting words. Because uh, sometimes people say, Chris, in and out is awful. Five Guys is way better. In that case, that's fighting words. This is just more of a question. Um, so uh, interesting. Five Guys, like in the Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia area where it started, gets really good reviews on Yelp, like four and a half stars on Yelp. When they came to California, they don't get as good reviews here. They get like two and a half stars on Yelp. And I think Californians are used to In-N-Out Burger. So when they go to Five Guys, they're like, oh, this costs so much more money. Uh, it doesn't like taste as healthy as In-N-Out Burger. When I'm on the East Coast in the Washington, D.C. area, I eat at Five Guys, and I think the original ones there are pretty good. I think they are expensive for what they are, and I think In-N-Out Burger uh, has better value. I like Shake Shack. Shake Shack's pricey. Uh, but if you gave me a uh, Five Guys and a Shake Shack right next to each other, I would eat at Five Guys every up. I would eat at Shake Shack every opportunity that I get, and not at Five Guys. Um, Tyshawn asks if I've gone to WonderCon. I think I've been to WonderCon maybe four or five times in the past. Uh, it's canceled this year, so I will not be going to it this year. Gloria says the Office Survival Guide is so helpful. Thank you, Gloria. I appreciate it. Um, Kathy wants to know if I can do a shout out to her son, Ben, as it's his 16th birthday today. Happy 16th birthday, Ben. Uh, and Trip Hacks DC says Shake Shack is good, even though, even though it's a New York place. Obviously, Washington, DC and New York City have a rivalry. It is a uh, New York place. However, uh, they do have a lot of locations in Washington, D.C. Samir 
asks why wear the headset now, I will say I answered that question earlier. Uh, so watch this live stream again from the beginning because you clearly uh, didn't catch when I answered that question earlier. Uh, CC assumes that I I am older than OC girl. Um, you know the thing about women is they never like to reveal their age, and so I'm just I'm going to leave that assumption for uh, another place. Um, but you know, <clears throat> whenever I look at her, she just always looks 21 in my book. Uh, Morton 11, uh, why don't you eat organic, Chris? Food is supposed to be good for us, not to give cancer like McDonald's. Hmm. Um, I, it, it's not that I have anything against organic. Uh, I, I just, I, I don't go out of my way to make my own garden and farm my own things. I mean, I just, I eat food and I eat the food that's out there. Uh, and I think like we could totally have a conversation about say food in Japan or food in Asia versus food in the U S and how everything in the U S has become processed. And so food in a lot of countries or even Italy where everything's a lot more natural and fresh, just tastes better and is better for you. And so I don't, I don't particularly like processed things. Actually, that's why I like in and out burger. Cause I feel like there are burgers that are pretty fresh and, uh, unprocessed. Ted says he loved my video about getting refunds from canceled reservations. Thank you, Ted. I appreciate it. That was a, that was a request uh, from y'all on one of these live streams, so thanks for making the request. Uh, Grant also loves the Office Survival Guide. And Grant, thanks for your suggestion of an upcoming video. I got it. I read it. I'm processing it now. Uh, Chris says, did you ever think of being a newscaster or a sports reporter? Your voice is perfect for it. Sports reporter, you know, I don't love sports. Uh, newscaster, hey, you know, if you know of any opportunities, I always say, I always say, let me know. Because uh, people always ask me a similar question about Chris, um, you know, did you ever... Do you ever consider, you know, having, you should have a show on the Travel Channel. And I'm like, do you know anybody who works at the Travel Channel? Unfortunately, a lot of those jobs are things like you got to know someone to be someone to be in the right place. Uh, and frankly, my passion always growing up was computers. Uh, and maybe because I love video games, so I played a lot of computers. I majored in computer science, so I work in the computer field. My dad uh, has always been into photography and videography. Uh, he used to be a uh, like wedding videographer. Uh, and so that's where my kind of love for cameras came from. And then my love of travel came through OC Girl and I brought a camera on our first trip to Japan. And that's how all this then video stuff got started. Matt wants to know if I've ever been to the Grand Canyon. I usually make a trip in Vegas. I have never been to the Grand Canyon. It's one of the places on our list. We've actually strategically tried to save a lot of the big driving places for when we have a youngin in our family, knowing that it'll be easier to drive rather than fly. So that Disney World, some of those things are uh, reserved for that. Um, nah, nah. Brian says, since you're from San Diego, are you a big fan on uh, Alberto's? And if so, what do you like there? So if you don't know, in San Diego, San Diego is the southernmost city in California. That's where I was born. It is right next to the Mexican border. San Diego has about 100 taco shops that have the last name Berto's. Alberto's, Riggy Berto's, Philly Berto's, Adalberto's, uh, and they they're not like really affiliated with all of each other. Like their Alberto's has a lot of locations. Roberto's has a lot of locations, but in general at the Berto's type taco shops, I typically get uh, the California burrito, which is French fries, carne asada, pico de gallo, a pico de gallo, which is uh, like tomato, onions, uh, cilantro, and usually some kind of, you know, chili juice, jalapeno, something to kind of spice it up a bit. That's what I usually get. OC Steve says, I chose wisely, let the wife win. It, when we arm wrestle, she always wins too. Uh, and Alex says, what up, Chris? Uh, the sky is up, obviously. That's the best best elementary school joke I could give. Um, all right, let's go back to this page. Adam asks, what's on your bucket list for travel? Hmm. Uh, I think it'd be really neat to see the pyramids, though, you know, Egypt as a place. Hmm. We really also want to go to um, 
like Peru. We haven't really done that much of Latin America. We'd really like to go to Mexico City for like the Dio de los Muertes. Uh, okay, let me go to another uh, assumption as it was sent in, and then we'll come back to the comments. Eat Van City says, I assume you're more of a dog person than a cat person. Not really a dog person. I don't really... I don't really like things. Maybe I have to walk all the time, clean up the poop on. It's funny. We held out a long time before getting a bunny. Osiro really likes bunnies, uh, and I uh, accepted the bunny into our family, MacGyver, because his poop doesn't smell, and it's dry, and he's also not loud. He doesn't bark, which is something that dogs do. Uh, growing up, I had a cat, so uh, I would say I'm, I'm neither a dog or a cat person, I am uh, – uh, actually, OC Girl gave me a shirt. I'm not wearing it today because I'm wearing the Yellow Productions Crew shirt, but she gave me a shirt that said uh, Bunny Father, like the Godfather except Bunny Father. Speaking of Evan City, who's uh, left those assumptions, he's on the live stream right now. Whoa, wrong button. Says, uh, do you think the Marriott program is better post-merger? Um – Yes, I think the Marriott program is better post-merger because I think the Marriott program, now having Sheraton as a part of it, is just better because there's more hotels. I mean, are the rewards better, things like that? We could argue that, but I love uh, having the bigger network. Eric asks, what's my favorite sport to watch? Ping pong is my favorite sport to watch. Electric Rick asks, what I'm listening to in the headphone? Great question. Absolutely nothing. I'm listening to absolutely nothing in the headphones. You know, I started this live stream the last couple of days, and I clearly need to figure out how I get used to it because it has a um, – on the headphones, they have a mini phone jack to jack in to the camera so that I can hear myself. Uh, but um, – like the myself hearing is like a little delayed, and so I think it just takes some getting used to that. When I listen to myself delayed, then I start to talk slower because I'm waiting for myself to catch up, and I and I kind of never do. So it's really – they're really more of a microphone holder. But I do plan, hey, as I bring in like guests into the live streams, this and that, uh, we could do that. Um, Sister says, if I drop a few F-bombs, uh, I could be the next Anthony Bourdain. I might have to pick up a cocaine habit too and drink a little more, which I don't. But Anthony Bourdain, uh, one of my heroes, uh, rest in peace. Uh, Eat Fan City asks if I ever go on mileage runs. I haven't in the last couple of years uh, because two years ago I made a uh, million miler status with United Airlines, meaning I flew over a million miles, which means I get their lifetime Star Alliance gold status. Uh, but yeah, actually, a lot of my Singapore videos were made doing mileage runs to Singapore. Uh, Ted wants to know where I went to school. San Diego for college. I went to San Diego State University with a bachelor's and master's in computer science. Kathy uh, says, when do I think I will reach 200,000 subscribers? Okay, now that's a hard question. The reason why that's a hard question is this whole you know, pandemic thing that's out there really uh, has taken my views and put them in the tank. Why? Because nobody's going to Las Vegas, nobody's going to London, nobody's going any place that I have videos on. So I'm so thankful all of you are here on the live streams. Uh, you guys, uh, fellow explorers, are the true fans, uh, and you make it all worth it. But uh, I probably would have been on trend to get to 200,000 um, in maybe the next uh, three or four months. That would have been the trend if I would have kept the current subscriber rate. Now it might be longer because it depends when travel is going to get back again. So people are going to watch all of my Las Vegas videos again. All right. Next assumption. Uh, Michael says, I assume that you know how to get great deals on travel since you do it frequently. Uh, I like to think so, and I like to think so because people often ask, hey, Chris, where are you going to go next? Are you going to go here? What about this place? When are you going to come to the Philippines? When are you going to come to Peru? When are you going to go to Chile? When are you going to go to Iceland? When are you going to go to Finland? And the question I always answer is uh, when it's cheap. Or where are we going to go next? Some place that's inexpensive. So yeah, we absolutely look for the really good deals to travel. Um, so like the mileage runs that I've taken to Singapore were generally flights that were like LAX to Singapore, like $600, something like that. Uh, so 
If you want to know more about that, I've got videos um, all about how to get great deals on flights and also great deals on hotels. If you go to my main channel page, uh, all the way at the bottom, there's a, like a playlist of travel tips. You'll find those in there. Uh, Corrine asks if I've ever thought about doing voiceover work. I think that's always something that uh, my dad, Electric Rick, wanted to get into. Uh, yeah, I think it might be fun. Um, Morton11 says, you look uh, so much like a happily married man. Did you change since you have a baby? Mm, did I change? I don't know. I probably tell more dad jokes. I change more diapers. Uh, have I changed substantially? I, I don't think I've changed substantially. Um, but yes, I'm absolutely a happily married man and a happy father. Uh, Michael asked about Alberto's and asked uh, if it's an A-frame near San Diego State University. Probably, probably. April uh, says, I assume you're tall, over six feet. I am exactly six feet tall. The more interesting statistic is not my height. The more interesting statistic is my shoe size. I wear U.S. size 14, which is a really hard shoe size uh, to buy for. Fiorella asks if I like Legos. I do. I love Legos. Uh, when I was a kid, I had tons of Legos. My mom bought me like all the Lego sets. I had like an area that I set up all the Legos. I had the Lego monorail. Uh, so hopefully our little explorer will love Legos too because uh, then I can help her build the really complicated ones. Morton11 asks if I like golden retrievers. I like golden retrievers. I think they're cute. I think they're cuddly. OC girl really likes golden retrievers. I don't think I would want one because I wouldn't want to pick up the smelly poop. Um, MT asks if I'm an Xbox or a PlayStation guy. I have an Xbox and a PlayStation, though not a PlayStation 4. Um, probably more computer games. I really like Dance Dance Revolution. If you've not seen my video playing Dance Dance Revolution, if you search for Yellow Productions Dance Dance Revolution, uh, you can see play all about that. I love uh, Japanese music games. OC oh, Steve asks if I thought about doing a local California series highlighting locations used in movies or television. That's a great question, OC oh, Steve. Uh, and we should talk more about doing that because uh, I think uh, that'd be cool. Um... Travis asks, do you like to hang out with the locals when you travel? Being an introvert, I usually don't seek out the locals because I just don't encounter them. Now, that being said, uh, when we went to Fukushima on our last trip, we spent a lot more time with the locals at the restaurants and things like that because um, we wanted to actually get – into restaurants, see how food was made, talk to local sake brewers, uh, and that was that was actually super rewarding. Uh, spending that time with the locals, uh, so I I like to. However, comma on our hey, get in, get out, let's shoot this. We want to go see these things, and we often don't have enough time, and so we don't. We just end up not not doing it all that much. Um, what? Okay, this one this one's a long one. Uh, Crazy Race says, I'm always missing your live stream because in Germany, it's too early for me. I do not have assumptions, but I have questions. Maybe uh, you can turn them into some assumptions. Where was your first vacation? Uh, my first vacation ever. Uh, it's hard to say when you de what you define as a vacation, but I'll define a vacation as something I, I, I took a trip working abroad, and so that was uh, Japan in 2004. Um, I mean, we also went to places like San Francisco and Vegas, this and that, but like Japan was our first big trip. Uh, did you like it? Yes. What do you think about traveling getting more and more expensive? Um, I mean, it's certainly better if it's cheaper, but I think with all this like cleanliness that we're going to want and social distancing, I think traveling is going to get more expensive. I'm okay with that to – have the experience be better. Do you have a favorite spot, Japan as a country? Uh, are there any places you would love to see or maybe not? I think I've already mentioned the places I want to see on the live stream earlier. 
All right. Mark says I should try buying his shoe size 17. Mark, 17. That is huge. Where do you go get your shoes? I get my shoes at uh, Nike stores, at the Nike factory outlets. They usually have big sizes, size 14. I almost, I almost exclusively wear Nike shoes. Carolyn asks, do I have any plans for Alaska? I grew up there. Um, it'd be fun to visit Alaska. It's just not made it on our plan uh, as of yet. Fiorella says, I need to look at the Lego Monster Burger Truck. It's yellow. I do need to look at that. Uh, and uh, Matt says, he's a 14-2, homie. Right on, Matt. Uh, and props to Chris Farley. Jake McShane asks if I like model trains. I do like model trains. Uh, in San Diego, in Balboa Park, there is a model train museum, which is a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite museums. Uh, and um, <laughs> and uh, that was uh, that was it. If you're wondering what I'm laughing at, I'm not laughing at the Model Railroad Museum. I am uh, laughing at Matt Hudson responding to size 17 shoes saying, Holy shack. Uh, and uh, Morton Eleven asks if we can see the sole of my size 14 foot, please. I don't, this is this is hard, but this is my size. Oh, you're gonna get a comment off the screen. This is my size 14 foot right there. Yeah, big feet. And those socks are Costco socks, by the way. That's uh, that's a first. Mark says he's six foot eight. That's really big. Uh, Naj. Yes, I've been to Zion National Park. We have been to Zion National Park. We really enjoyed it. If you've not seen my video, uh, check it out. Yellow Production Zion National Park. Sistress is wondering if the Hearst Mansion is worth visiting if I ever go to California again. I think it is. I think uh, it's called Hearst Castle, but I think Hearst Castle is pretty neat if you're in the um, central California area already. Tyshawn asks if I ever stayed at the Madonna Inn. No, that place is weird. Uh, have you, Tyshawn? Um, Mark asks if I've been to the Reagan Museum. We sure have. Uh, I've enjoyed the Reagan Museum. Big museum. We were also recently at the Nixon Museum. By the way, Richard Nixon's museum is in Yorba Linda, California, about 10 miles outside of Disneyland. Um, O.C. Steve says the Star Trek series Hawking Your Yellow Hoodie highlight where Captain Kurt fought the Goron in that park outside of like You probably know more about a lot of those things than I do, which is probably why we need to talk about that. Um, let's see. Uh, Nick wants to know if I would ever move out of San Diego. Interesting question because I said I was born and raised in San Diego. I, in fact, didn't say I live in San Diego currently. We actually live uh, in Orange County, and uh, we live near the happiest place on earth, near Disneyland, which, of course, is closed right now. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. CC says, I assume your blood type is O positive and you donate blood frequently. I have never donated blood. Maybe I should. Maybe I'm not a good citizen because of that, and it is not O positive. Um, let's see. Uh, House of Sid uh, says, I should go to Ross for shoes. They have lots of big shoe sizes. They do, but I don't know. I just like Nike shoes fit me really well, and a lot of other companies don't fit me any well. Uh, and CC asked if I have any videos on the Winchester house. We did not. Uh, we didn't make a video there, uh, but we did really enjoy it. So I'd encourage you to visit the Winchester house if you are uh, in the uh, Silicon Valley area. All right. <clears throat> Next assumption, Tony says, I assume that you're a very quiet, shy person. I think I talked about my introversion level. I consider myself an introvert. I would not consider myself quiet quiet. I'm probably loud. I've been told I'm loud sometimes. Ashley says, I assume you are super friendly. I enjoy watching your videos as they're informed. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate it. And even though I consider myself an introvert, um, I do consider myself friendly as well. I like to treat other people like I would like to be treated, meaning saying hello, goodbye, thank you, please, all that sorts of stuff. I feel like that's some etiquette that, at least in the U.S., we've lost, uh, and I'd, I'd like for us to find that again. Uh, okay. 
Now, I'm definitely not going to make it through all of the assumptions today. This video is going to be a multi-part video going through the assumptions because I think there were 50-some, and I think we're on, like, lucky number 13. But, hey, that gives us more content for uh, live streams coming up this week. I'm going to take a few questions now during question time. What well, question time? And... Uh, but first, I want to ask you all a question, uh, and this is the question to win a Yellow Productions Crew t-shirt. And the question is, uh, to know the answer to this question, you will have to be following my Instagram page or probably my Facebook page. I posted a picture to those places in the last two hours uh, where I was uh, shopping at a store. Now, if you can answer... What aisle I was on, what was in that aisle, what food was behind me, then you will win a Yellow Productions t-shirt sent anywhere in the world. If you're not already uh, on my Instagram or Facebook page, you can find the links to those in the description of this video, and you can uh, follow them. And that way, when I ask other questions about my Instagram and Facebook page later this week to win the t-shirts, then uh, you'll totally be up on those, and you'll totally win. All of the questions this week are going to be about things I post on my Instagram or Facebook page. I'll put them in both places, so if you're only a user of one, you can do that. Uh, and House of Sid answered the store, but it wasn't the store. It was, what was the aisle or what was the section of it that I was in? Uh, Keith. Keith wins. Keith says it was the produce section. All right, Keith, you win. The Yellow Productions Crew t-shirt shipped anywhere in the world to you. You can message me on my Facebook page. You can send me an email to chris at yellow.net with two W's. Let me know your address and your size, and I'll get that going to you. By the way, if you want to get in on one of these and you haven't had a chance to win one, you can check out my Etsy shop. There's a link in the description below to the Yellow Productions Crew t-shirts. Also, the baby onesies. If you want to get a Yellow Productions Crew onesie, uh, you will find them there as well. Uh, and lots of good answers. Uh, but uh, none of you were as fast as Keith. Uh, Gloria answered. Cece answered both vegetables, Target, um, and uh, so. Uh, and Kathy said she did remember seeing bananas. So that was good. A lot of people answered bananas. They were they were yellow. I would have taken I would have taken produce, fruit, uh, salad, uh, any of that stuff. All right. Yeah, I know House of Sid says boo. All right. Try next time, House of Sid. You were this close. You were this close. Um, all right. Uh, Dennis says perhaps grow a beard and dye it yellow. Wow. That would be that would be interesting. That would be interesting, especially during this time uh, where I'm not going into the office because we're uh, – trying to telework as much as possible, that'd be great, especially when I go back in. You know, like you all would see it day through day as I grow it, but uh, there'd be a bunch of people that would be like, dude, that's, uh, I will still wear um, Nike shoes. Ted uh, wants to know, what computer language do I program in? Uh, I'm fluent in a lot of programming languages. Uh, I would probably say Java is my uh, main language. Um all right. Well, it is coming up on just about 45 minutes of our live stream. Uh, and uh, But I want to answer just two more questions. And uh, Kathy says, I've, I've froze. I've frozen for a lot of people. Have I frozen? Am I frozen? No, I still I still look good on the preview window, so I'm sorry to hear that some of you have frozen. Uh, Sister says, have you done videos for the other channel about telework? That would be spot on. Absolutely. I just did a video about teleworking, uh, like 10 tips or 8 tips or something like that about how to uh, telework better. I can totally look that up and I can tell you what the exact title is. But uh, I did that because many of us are indeed trying to telework. And uh, so the video, the video that I published on the Office Survival Guide is called How to Effectively Work from Home. By the way, there's a little screenshot of the Office Survival Guide, How to Effectively Work from Home, right there with nine tips. So check that one out. Um, <laughs> yeah, OC Steve uh, asked if the bunny chewed through a cable. I assume that was a YouTube hiccup because um, nothing froze on my side. And then in the stream health? Yeah, weird. It said uh, YouTube wasn't receiving any data. But you know what? That probably means that it's time to wrap up. 
So with that, question is, when is the next live stream going to be? Well, the next live stream later this week sometime. When's it going to be? Well, as I mentioned earlier, follow my community page, follow my Facebook page, subscribe, click the bell, turn notifications. You'll get notified. I always put out a notification before. Generally, uh, this week I'll be doing these between uh, 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. Los Angeles time. Uh, so stay on the lookout for those in that four-hour window, Los Angeles time, which is also Pacific time if you're looking for those. Well, with that, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you all in the next video.